What up, my peeps? I am the Ruckus, and these are my toys on deck. And up next, we have the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Wave 2. Symbiote Spider-Man. Yes, indeed. Definitely uh, an ordeal trying to get these figs. If um, you guys don't know by now, Target, which is where I acquired this figure from, they have been doing solid cases of individual figures as opposed to getting assortment wave cases. And um, what's more is they, it's not like, you know, there's six figures in this wave. It's not like they're getting six cases of individual figures. Nah, they're getting a case here, a case there. It depends on the store. Some stores have been blessed with getting like three figures at the same time, but most targets are getting one and dones um, until they reload or whatever. That was the case with uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. I found him at uh, my nearest target, and uh, that's all that was there was uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. There's another target that's uh, close by a little bit further away and they have symbiote spider-man ben riley the shocker and hammerhead but they're not putting them out until the target reset day which i believe is the uh the 23rd sunday the 23rd so it won't be there and i'm like everyone else around here they're putting both this wave and the doctor strange into the multiverse of madness wave um they've all been just putting them out once again dr strange the same uh, way solid cases and uh you don't know what you're going to get at whatever store you just have to go in there and um if you're a completionist then if they have any of the wave you're striking gold if you're an itemizer you have to hope that the figure you want is where you go and if not, you got to keep it moving. Anyhow, enough about uh, the ordeal that is the uh, the throwback to the, uh, as I call it, the great hunt where you'd have to bump and stop and go different places to, uh, you know, to amass an entire wave. Uh, it was very rare that you could walk into a store and pull all six or seven figures off the pegs at the same time you'd have to either go back or go to other stores in order to try to accumulate the entire wave it looks like at least for now we're back to that so um i mean it brings back memories we can reminisce but um i think i like being able to do a one-stop shop and get it over with you guys let me know in the uh comments below which way you like it anyhow back to the matter at hand we've got our symbiote spider-man right there in his uh, retro card packaging so we'll look at the back real quick and as you can see in the back you've got uh, the spider-man logo and uh, more artwork with uh, symbiote spider-man you've got the little sketch that shows how to apply the additional uh, hands that comes with this below you've got the other five figures in the wave and of course, as always, there's a read up, which is as follows. Spider-Man gets an all new look when he finds a sleek black costume in a space shuttle wreck. Little does Spidey realize he's joined himself to the predatory alien symbiote, Venom. Which there was no such thing as Venom back then, but the bio is pretty accurate in that because that's exactly what ended up happening. So that's that. Next up, let's see what he's about out of this retro card, shall we? Symbiote Spider-Man comes with an additional set of hands, this being the uh, the wall crawling hands. You see they're splayed out and they have the, uh, the strip, the white strip along the top of the hands. Symbiote Spider-Man also comes with a set of thwipping hands, same white strip on the uh, the tops of the uh, of the hands and here we have symbiote spidey on our rotating platter so you can get the 360 view of him you can see he's got the uh, the spider logo 
on his back already initially I can see that the paint is looking very nice you can see the uh, the white of his uh, his eyes on his head and of the uh, spider symbol on the front and uh, of course uh, with the exception of the uh, the white uh, the white uh, bands I guess we'll call them that are across the tops of his hands he's just uh, all black he is of course on the retro spidey buck superposable buck so you know we'll be able to get some great articulation with this guy so well let's get a closer look at him here we have symbiote spider-man up close and personal and as you can see like i said all black molded and he's got the uh the white eyes which look pretty clean i'm happy about that molded in the black like i said let's take a look at that spider emblem and uh, oh yeah definitely pretty clean on my end looking really good gotta love that he's got uh, the bands on his closed fisted hands which of course he came with out of packaging both sides then of course straight black all the way down and of course in the back speaking of the back let's take a look at those paint apps back there and uh, like I said pretty clean gotta love it got to love it the great thing I also love is I don't have much to go over in, in the way of paint apps so that's pretty cool so let's get right to his articulation his head is on a ball hinge and he can look up that far he can look down that far and do the 360 and he does give you he does give you some attitude there so that's pretty cool right there he's got uh, butterfly joints you know we love that he can raise his arm up nearly 90 he can roll out 360 he's got a bicep swivel double jointed knees they are pin up uh, knees double jointed elbows faux pas there I'm not editing that this shows you that we do it real He's got the swivel at the uh, the wrist, and of course he's got the hinge. This is the superposable buck, so as far as the ab articulation, he's got the uh, ball joint at the top there, so he can go back that far, he can go forward that far, and then what's more, he's got a secondary ab crunch. He had the diaphragm, and then he's got the crunch too, so that means he can even get down that far and go way back because of it crazy as far as the paint it goes all the way through um, still looks kind of crazy but it goes it the paint goes all the way up so you gotta love that too as far as on the back it does that too but once again because of the nature of this it's on a ball it's on a ball joint so it's going to be kind of separated you see that right there but a beggars can't be choosers we've got great articulation with this as far as his hips he can spread them like that and get his leg out like that back like that he's got a thigh cut double jointed knees knees this time pinned of course and uh, he's got a boot cuff or in his case since that the boot doesn't really go there we'll call it the calf swivel he can point his toe that far forward up that much ankle pivot and you know it like a poet peg holes on the bottom of his feet his spotty with his thwipping hands getting his thwip on and here he is with his wall crawling hands in a uh, very rushed posed but hey at least I got him down there huh getting a measurement for Spidey we're talking about he's just a tick over six inches which translates for my metric rocking peeps out there about 15 and a half centimeters for some comparisons here's symbiote spotty next to the one that kicked it off the original superposable retro series spider-man yes indeed here we have spotty next to daredevil from the spider-man hobgoblin builder figure wave in his uh, red costume and the reason I brought him up here is 
How would you all like to see Daredevil on the Superposable Buck? He's definitely a character that could benefit from that body mold. So to sum it all up, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Wave 2 Symbiote Spider-Man is definitely a welcome addition. We've got Spidey in his symbiote suit. We have him on the superposable buck and uh, all is right with the world. One thing I uh, should have mentioned uh, when I was uh, going over the hands with the thwipping hands, this is the, uh, you have to take note, this is Spidey in his symbiote suit, not his black suit. The black suit, and you can best believe, has was going to melt this and re-release this very figure minus the white stripes on his hands because that's the difference between the black suit and the symbiote suit. Uh, I'm glad we got the whipping hands. I would never uh, uh, sneer at getting accessories, but quite frankly, for this particular iteration of Spider-Man, he doesn't need whipping hands because in the symbiote uh, suit, he uh, he shot his webs out of the front, out of those white uh, bands at the top of his hands, and uh, you know he uh, he extended his arms and balled out in you know fists and. Uh, shot his webs that way he didn't thwip if you will um, but like I said it is what it is um, you know that when they re-release this figure as black suit spider-man he'll come with uh, hands that don't have those uh, bands on the top of them so um, I, I figured that was something of note like I said you're gonna give me accessories I'm gonna take them anyway um, loving the fact that he's on that superposable buck and uh, very popular right here. Remember what I said about the solid cases when it comes to this wave. You're going to have to actually hunt now unless you're very fortunate and your target uh, has all of them. This isn't a target exclusive, so you can get them if you've pre-ordered them already from a multitude of different uh, sources and eventually they'll hit other brick and mortars like Walmart, etc. So uh, you'll be able to get them. I don't know how Walmart is going to do it, if they'll get actual wave cases or if they're going to play the uh, solid case game either, but uh, time will tell. Um, I'm solely getting this wave as well as the Doc Strange wave. I've got uh, Shocker's going to be up next. So uh, I'm halfway there. And uh, yeah, the hunt continues, huh? I guess uh, uh, true words have never been said than my closing. But speaking of closing, that is the end of this review. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and most definitely subscribe. Tell a friend whatever you have to do. Get me up there. I'm slowly creeping to that one hun, and uh, I'm going to uh, keep pushing like that. So uh, also, in order to help push some more of these videos, smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember... True words have never been spoken. The hunt continues. And I am out. Peace.